to scene one. A fairy and Robin Goodfellow meet on stage. Hello there, spirit. Where are you off to? I work for Titania, good fellow. I'm currently on my way to find some dewdrops. Our beloved queen is coming. Adios. Take <laughs> heed. Titania cannot come within sight of King Oberon. The king is still salty about Titania's marvelous snatch on the young Indian boy. The king and queen are very thin ice with each other because they both want the boy. Are you that saucy, jolt-head Robin Goodfellow? The rumor around town is that you stir up chaos. That's you, right? You got it. That is me. I'm a bit of a trickster, if you know what I mean. I disguise as a stool and topple over when someone attempts to sit down. Get lost, fairy. King Oberon is here. Oh no, Titania is here too. Oberon, the fairy king, and his followers enter. On the other side of the stage, Titania, the fairy queen, and her followers enter. How unpleasant to see you, Titania. How mad are you, Oberon? I wish to never speak to you again. Come on, fairies. Let's book it. Hold up, you disloyal witch. Obey me. I am your husband. You believe that I am disloyal? You cheated on me with that onion eyed Hippolyta. You simply brought us here to celebrate her marriage. Easy there, tiger. How can you dishonor Hippolyta and I when I know about your secret love for Theseus? Oh, King Oberon, these are nothing but resentful lies you tell. Our constant arguments have disordered the fairy seasonal dances. Now all four seasons are out of whack. Fix it then, my wife. You're a fairy after all. My heart is hollow because the tiny Indian boy is yours. Oberon, you fishmonger. The boy is a member of Fairyland. His mother and I used to gossip under the dim summer lights. It is my obligation to raise him. How long do you intend to stay within the woods? The fairies and I have agreed to stay in the woods until Theseus' wedding day. Give me the boy. He is priceless. Be gone. <laughs> Titania and her fairies exit. Puck, where art thou? Fetch me a love and idleness flower that's been pierced by Cupid's arrow. If the juice from this flower skims one's eyelids while they are asleep, they'll fall in love with whoever they see next. Sounds good, my king. I will go find the flower. As soon as I get a grasp on Cupid's flower, I'll trickle some of the juice on Titania's eyes. When she wakes up, she'll fall in love with whoever she sees next. Demetrius and Helena enter. Helena, I despise you. Be gone. I'm deep in love with her and going insane in the middle of the woods. I am attracted to you like a moth to a lamp. We are inseparable, Demetrius. I have broken affection towards you. Never have been and never will be. The more you neglect me, the more I love you. I beg for Demetrius to treat me like a dog. Your face disgusts me. Your absence makes me sick. I'll camouflage you to the bushes and leave you alone in the treacherous wild. The wildest animal is not as cruel as you are. Demetrius and Helena exit. Robin enters. Do you have the flower, Robin? You got it. Excellent. I'll control now I'll control Titania's de delusions and desires. But the left boulder juice sprinkle some of Demetrius, a man who neglects his true lover. Never fear. Robin's here. Exceeding severely. 